Hey guys, so this video is going to be about the Seafarers International Union Unlicensed Apprenticeship Program. Um, that's the program that I am in and I think is probably one of the, I mean obviously I'm in it personally, um, best avenues to, to go about becoming a merchant mariner. Um, there's lots of avenues. You can go to a, a mariner academy. Um, those are generally like four-year colleges. Everything that comes with that uh, college comes with that, right? So, um, you know, college debt, this sort of thing. The, the positive side is, is when you're finished with that, you're already an officer. Um, you're already getting paid more, better ranks, better accommodations, better food. Um, it, it's really a, a, could be a nicer gig for somebody, right? Um, if you don't want debt or, you know, maybe you're somebody like me, uh, a little older coming into this, right? So, uh, you know, if you're a younger person and you're more of that college age or, you know, a lot of academies won't even accept you, I think, if you're over the age of 25, um, a, a maritime academy is probably the way to go. You know, you start off a couple levels above, um, and making more money is always great. Uh, but if you don't want to have debt or you're a little older, or you don't want to invest, you know, four years of schooling before you start the job, an unlicensed apprenticeship program um, could be very well the way to go. Um, there's a lot of them out there. Uh, I went uh, SIU, Seafarers International Union. Um, personally, I think they have uh, the best program out there. Excuse me. They, first of all, it's a giant union. Been around for decades, right? Paul Hall, uh, been around since the 50s, 60s. Uh, you might not know him, but you might know Jimmy Hoffa. You know, those are the same, same time frame. Although Paul Hall didn't have all the nefarious parts like Jimmy Hoffa, right? Um, when you go to those regional exam centers, those are union guys in there. Uh, with that being said, um, some of the benefits of joining the Seafarers International Union is not a lot of upfront, out-of-pocket expenses. And I'll talk about that. Uh, I'm going to make a, a cost video for the credit, for the Merit Mariner credentials and SIU kind of combined. Um, the other nice thing is, uh, you know, they really set you up for success. Um, I'll talk about that in another video, but how to apply to the SIU program. Now the things, now if you look on the, F, the Seafarers uh, webpage, they're gonna put like step one is where you apply, step two is kind of where you get your credentials. Um, I think other people have done it um, will recommend this as well any and then until you're a part of the program they're not going to really assist you because you're not in the program um, so that's kind of where these videos come in handy uh, but I if you can do step two before step one meaning so in their steps step two is where you get your passport for the unless in the friendship program you have to have the passport because they are going to send you overseas um, so you get your passport, get your TWIC, get your Merchant Mariner credential, then apply for the program. That way, once you've been accepted, you don't have to then wait for the, for your credentials to come in. So, you know, when I started my journey, I started getting things. I didn't even know about SIU. Um, once I did, it still took me over six months just to get to the point where now I'm waiting to go to school. And then when I'm now I'm waiting to go to school, it's still four months out. So all these things take a lot of time. Um, getting your credentials takes, you know, 60, 90 days. Um, so start on that. Um, once you've been accepted, they only give you 90 days to let them know you have all your credentials, right? Your passport can take six weeks, you know. Um, so get that first. So get your... Go get your passport, go get your TWIC, 
get your Merch America credential. Now, to apply to the program, you have to have uh, certain things, right? So, you have to get two letters, more is better. If you can get three or four, even better, but a minimum two letters of recommendation from you know, a previous employer, uh, you know, your, your scout leader, somebody, right? Letters of rec that will attest to your work ethic, your you know, personality, all these things. Um, you, have to, you have to write an essay. You have to write a 400 word essay on why you want to be a merchant mariner. Now 400 words is not a lot. It's, it's barely a page. Um, but it can be daunting for, for people, especially um, if you haven't written an essay in a long time. Uh, you know, so so get that. They want to. They, you got to send in a photo. Um, now, once you've sent that in, and they're kind of going on your application, all, again, all on their website, they're going to send you to that regional exam center. Um, mine was in Houston. I was living in Austin. That's a two and a half, three hour drive. Um, you know, you could be further away. You could be closer. Um, but you're going to go there. And you're going to take a reading and math test on a computer. It's not overly difficult. Um, I say that personally, right? Um, everybody can fall in different levels. There are parts that were more difficult for me because uh, I was out of practice with it. Uh, all in all, it's just a placement uh, exam, right? So they're not, it's not a pass or fail so much as it's just like, you know, this individual needs, a, you know, like tutoring in math or tutoring in reading, whatever it might be. Um, so, you know, if they, if they say you need it, you need it. And they're gonna help you with that, right? They're gonna they're gonna say you need this, and, and you can go take care of that. Uh, also, at the regional exam center, you're gonna have, you're gonna have an interview with somebody from the union. They're gonna talk to you. They're gonna you know ask you questions. They're gonna find out about you. Um, once you've done all that, right? And so what they'll do is, once that's taken care of, they'll call up to school hopefully recommend you um, and then you'll be accepted and then they'll send you the information for step two now if you already got your credentials great you can send that in and they'll tell you the next step um, if you don't then you can start getting your merchant mayor credential your passport your quick all this stuff once you have all that you gotta go back to the, the exam center REC they're gonna scan in your documents and then they're gonna tell you you gotta have another physical Another drug test um, that cost as well uh, as for the uh, comprehensive health services something like that CHS is what it is I don't remember what the what they stand for um, that has a cost and then what they'll do is they'll find a place near where you live you want to go back there and you'll take another head-to-toe physical vision hearing they check your, your lungs they do an EKG they, they color vision, um, all these things, another drug test. Um, and then for SIU, they also have to, they also have the dental exam. Um, now this is, you go and basically they wanna make sure that you're not gonna have any uh, dental emergencies um, while you're out. Uh, so go, so that cost might, might vary person to person if you do have a, an underlying issue. Um, but go get that taken care of. Um, you send that in, send in their, your forms. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to remember what else I had to send them. Um, you have to send them copies of everything, right? Copies of your credentials, your TWIC, your passport, your driver's license. Um, you have to send in a copy of that dental exam, your physical, your drug test. That's the main thing. Um, yeah, so that's really the the, the gist of it. Um, now, there's a lot of benefits uh, as far as the SIU program is concerned. And I'll, I'll make a video about those. Uh, and this is pretty much just the application process. Um, two letters of rec, 400 word essay. Um, you have to have. Uh, reading a math test, an interview, um, a dental exam, physical drug test that is separate 
that's for them, it, your, your US Coast Guard one that you take for your merchant merit credential does not count. Uh, they'll have that one, and then after you say, okay, I got my credentials, then they will schedule you another one. Um, so I think that's it. If, again, if you have any questions about the SIU uh, application process, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Um, it's not very daunting, uh, but it does take some time. Right, thanks, guys.